we're going to try to do system thinking, so appreciation of systems is a fundamental part of the science of improvement. And if I'm helping somebody, and so I need to appreciate the system. Well, I have to be able to see that system. When I, I remember when I w w would do work in auto uh, organizations, they, they actually designed the big production plants there where you could go up to the very top of it and stand in the scaffolding and actually see the system working and how it's flowing and so forth to do that. In healthcare, it's sometimes very difficult to see the system. You know, hey, the system's a problem here. Well, where, where, where's the system? I can't see it. What, where do we look at it? So what tools do we have that? So tools like flow charting, process mapping, and so forth that allows us to see the system is a pretty important tool. On the other hand, as I see people, if I tell people you need to have flow charting, they, we get, they get bogged down in that tool. So doing flow charting, drawing systems maps is not improvement. It allows us to see the system to make that happen. So I'm always careful about ever overemphasizing any tool there to do that. Probably if there's one that I, that I wouldn't do without on any improvement work or projects is a, a time series chart, a run chart, shoe heart control chart over time there. I always want to see that improvement's temporal. We have a past, we have the current, and we have a future. And I want a picture that helps everybody see that the same way. And uh, so a run chart, a shoe heart chart, uh, I'll always have that on improvement project. Yeah.